Hello YouTube, so we're here for another quick video. I wasn't actually expecting to do this video, but um, the car's been acting a little weird. So I was like, oh, you know, every once in a while it doesn't want to start. It needs a little like cranking to get the start and then it'll like sputter and die. So I was like, but then it'll work again. So I was like, oh, maybe it just needs a new mass airflow sensor, right? So I got a new one and I put, pulled the screws out of this one and I pulled out and I was actually surprised. So if we look over here at the light, we'll go right under here. Hold on. Let's see if we can get it to focus. So this it doesn't look too bad, right? Looks pretty clean, right? This side is pitch black. Remember, it's supposed to be orangish, right? This side is pitch black. It's caked in something, so I'm gonna clean this, but it doesn't matter because I already ordered a new one anyway. So, remember, be very gentle. The new one. It's clean as a whistle. So, it's just a reverse of installation. Just drop it in there. You have two screws. Make sure it's actually seated correctly. There we go. And then drop the two screws inside of it. Like that. Don't strip them because they can get, these are old screws, they can easily get stripped. Just a couple turns. The new one's also Denzel, just like the old one. The old one's stamped Toyota though, so it's stamped Denzel. But apparently it's the OEM one. As you can see, I wasn't even prepared to do this. It came in a little bit earlier. So I saw the sticker on this. And put the mass airflow sensor back in. Because there's been sometimes where it kind of like surges also and then just like dies. So let's start the car now. Let's see if I can notice any difference. I mean, we'll have to drive it and stuff for it to relearn, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll have to drive it and stuff to see if it gets any better, but that's how you change your mass airflow sensor. It might look a little bit different because I have a cold air intake on here. Um, you might have a different intake system on your car, but it's fairly simple to do. Um, as you guys saw, it took me like a minute to actually do it. Um, you can also clean these. I might clean this one and put it back in the box just in case, keep it in the car. Just in case this one fails, but this is the original one with 100, almost 180,000 miles on it. So I'm going to put everything back together. Thank you guys for tuning in. Easy fix.